This is Samantha again with the DevOps Library. Welcome to the second episode in our Vagrant course. We're glad you found yourself here. Today we're going to cover an installation of Vagrant. As we mentioned in our last video, Vagrant spins up fresh VMs for you, but those VMs must run on what Vagrant refers to as a provider. The provider could be anything from VMware, Hyper-V, Docker, AWS, and more. But for most of our tutorials, we'll stick with the default of VirtualBox. There are many advantages and disadvantages to each, but VirtualBox is freely available and runs on nearly every major operating system. If you're interested in using a different provider, we'll be covering them in a later episode. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First, you'll need to download VirtualBox from virtualbox.org, or you can obtain it from Oracle's VirtualBox website. At the time we made this tutorial, you'll want to choose the latest 4.0 version, as the VirtualBox 5.0 beta isn't supported by Vagrant yet. If you're using Linux or OS X, the process will be slightly different, but for the most part, very similar to what we're doing now. The installation for VirtualBox is very easy and straightforward. Don't worry about restarting yet, though. We'll go ahead and do that after we finish installing Vagrant. Okay, now that VirtualBox is ready, we just need to head to vagrantup.com downloads.html to download the latest version, which at the time of this tutorial was 1.7.2. Like VirtualBox, the installation of Vagrant is actually pretty easy, and by default will install to C, HashiCorp, Vagrant. After the installation completes, we strongly recommend restarting to go ahead and ensure that VirtualBox comes up cleanly, and also because Vagrant updates your environment path. After you've restarted, go ahead and open up a command prompt. Now type Vagrant version. You should see something similar to what we see here if everything went well. If you don't, Verify that the path to Vagrant was successfully added to your environment path variable. Okay, if you've made it this far, well done. You're finally ready to start using Vagrant. In our next episode, we're going to cover spinning up your first Vagrant machine. As always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.